Over the course of the last two years, the world has changed in so many ways. One of the most significant changes impacting many workers across the globe has been the shift away from the office, where we formerly spent most of our waking hours, to the home, which then became the backdrop for work, play, and everything in between. Gallup's latest research on this topic, fielded in February 2022 through our representative U.S. National Panel study, has found that while the shift to increased remote work came with its own disruptions, workers are adamant that there is a lot about working remotely that they want and expect to hold on to. And those expectations carry with them some significant implications for employers. So let's dig into the data. Prior to COVID-19, only one in four employees were routinely working from home. This obviously shifted quickly with the onset of the pandemic. And in the peak of April to May 2020, Gallup data shows that 65% of all workers were remote. Now, as we approach two years later, close to half of all U.S. workers are still regularly working from home in some capacity. But where do employees want to be working and why? Gallup's research shows that six out of 10 employees who have a job that can be done remotely would prefer a hybrid work arrangement, and three out of 10 would prefer to be fully remote. So that's 90% of remote capable workers saying, I do not want to come back to an office full time. And these employees cite efficiency, flexibility, well-being and productivity as the driving forces behind those preferences. Now, many of these same reasons are also cited by individuals who would prefer to be in the office full time. So it begs the question, is the core question for employers really about remote work versus in office work? Or is it about having the ability to individualize working arrangements based on the needs of the individual and the needs of their team. When we dig into this deeper, we see that employee preferences around their working arrangement are far more than just an item on a wish list. When there is a mismatch between an employee's working setting preference and their actual work location, there are stark drops in both engagement and well-being. So for example, a remote capable employee who prefers to be hybrid or remote, but are currently working fully on site, engagement levels drop by 24%, while being levels drop by 30%. And even more critically, burnout and their likelihood to leave the organization for a new opportunity skyrocket. We see a burnout rate of 54% in these populations and their intent to leave soars to 66%. So there are three key takeaways from this research for leaders and organizations. The first is that remote work is here to stay and most employees prefer some version of a hybrid arrangement. The second is that there are serious business risks for employers when there is a mismatch between where an employee wants to work and where they're required to work. And then the third is that there is a wide range in what hybrid work will look like in the future. Individualization, understanding the unique needs of individuals and their teams, empowering managers to have these conversations with their team members, and creating a very clear value proposition for time spent in the office will be critical as organizations navigate the changing world of work moving forward.